Hi, welcome back to another episode of Geek With Glasses. In today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about fitness, right? It's that time of the year, right after the new year, people make their resolutions to get in better shape and eat better. Um, the cool part is technology is doing a lot nowadays to help us get a better understanding of our fitness. Um, we've got wearable devices from bracelets to clip-ons, Jawbone's making them, Nike's making them, Fitbit's making them, and these are really cool devices to help us get a better understanding of our daily activity levels and just overall fitness. If you combine those with some of the really cool apps that are available for both Android or iOS, you get this really cool cohesive integrated fitness solution. Today we want to take a quick look at the Fitbit One. I went and picked one of these up for both myself and my wife. We're trying to get in better shape. We're trying to be a little bit more healthy and we're going to give these a try based on a suggestion of a friend of mine. So I've got the My Fitness Pal app and uh, a Fitbit One and I'm going to do an unboxing of this. Let's take a look at what the Fitbit One does. Uh, again, you've got products that are made by Nike and Jawbone and other vendors that do the same thing. Fitbit seems to be kind of the gold standard for the non-athletic type, kind of like the normal person's um, activity monitor. So let's take a look at what the Fitbit One has inside the box and what it can do. So stay tuned. <music> All right, so here we have it, the Fitbit One. And by no means is this a brand new device. These have been on the market for a couple of years now, the Fitbit One. there's The Fitbit product line um, has a myriad of different products. There's some uh, bracelet styles, the clip-on styles, the older clip-on styles, and price points all the way from $50 to $130. The Fitbit One comes in uh, at around $99. Sometimes you can get them on sale, sometimes they're going a little bit cheaper, but roughly $100 for the Fitbit One. And I uh, went ahead and picked up the black and I got a burgundy one for my wife, like I mentioned earlier. So the Fitbit One, it is a wireless activity monitor and sleep tracker. So if you remember in a video that I did a couple years ago on the Lark sleeping system, they've integrated the same types of technologies into the Fitbit and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But uh, track everyday activities including sleep, be healthy, get fit. So we have a daily activity tracker, so it's going to track our steps, distance, um, uh, walked, stairs burned, uh, stairs climbed, and calories burned. We have mobile and online, so you can get iOS and Android apps, and you can get Windows-based and uh, Macintosh-based applications for this. Um, we can monitor our sleep. So what this does is it actually monitors um, how good of sleep, when you go to sleep, how good you're sleeping, how many times you're tossing and turning, how many times you wake up, and then it gives you an overall rating for your sleep of the night. And then this has a wireless dongle, which we'll, we'll take a look at, that allows you to automatically upload all of the data that's being stored on the Fitbit directly to your computer um, wirelessly. So you never have to plug anything in or sync it in. But it'll do that for you automatically on Bluetooth if you sync it to a smartphone that's compatible as well. So on the right, we'll take a look. Um, it's Windows uh, XP and newer, um, Macintosh OS X uh, 10.5 and newer, iPhone 4S, and, and newer, iPad third gen and newer, and then uh, anything with Bluetooth 4.0. Some Android devices support it, some don't. Uh, you can get a full list by going to their website that's listed on the box. Opposite side, what do you get in it? You get a tracker, a clip, a charging cable, a wireless dongle, a sleep wristband, and a free Fitbit account. Uh, and on the back, it just talks about everything that we're going to do with it. You know, where you can wear it for the ladies, you can wear it in your bra if you want to keep it concealed, clip it on your bra. Men, you can wear it on your belt, put it in your pocket, and then it does have that sleeping wristband, which we'll take a look at. So again, track, track your sleep, wirelessly upload, graphs and charts, badges, stair climb. There is a social aspect to the application, which is awesome. I heard about it from a friend of mine who is a nurse on her feet all day long, and uh, she uses one, and she was talking to me about this in conjunction with the My Fitness Pal. So let's open this up and see what we get. I'm gonna cut through the whole thing there. And pop it out, we'll set this aside. And uh, right off the bat, we've got a little pull tab. Let's take a look. Pop this up, important, set it up. Go to fitbit.com slash setup. This is where you'll download the PC or the Mac version of the software so that you can then sync the Fitbit and uh, set up your account. I've already uh, set my account up, so we'll do that later um, and get that set up, set that aside. Next thing that comes out is this neoprene Velcro wristband. So this is for sleeping. So this is where you will tuck your Fitbit away while you're asleep so that it can monitor your sleep activity. And this, this has a little piece of uh, tape on here that we pull off to expose the Velcro. We'll go ahead and set that. And this is a nice stretchy material. It's, it's neoprene with uh, Velcro. And basically we're gonna just slip the Fitbit right into this little pocket. 
and it will be uh, securely um, held on our wrist while we sleep so that it can monitor our, uh, our sleep cycle. And you can see it's got uh, Fitbit branding on there. The next thing we can pull out is a little rubberized clip. This is a belt clip, a bra clip, a pant clip, wherever you want to clip it. This is, uh, we'll, we'll slip our Fitbit in there. Nice rubber. It's got some cool logoing on the inside. You can see the uh, actual Fitbit logo on the inside on the metal clip part um, and venting. And again, they got the Fitbit logo on the back. These do come in two colors and this rubber is the color of the device. I got a black one. My wife got a burgundy one. So her her rubber clip is actually burgundy. We'll set that aside. Next thing is we have our charging cable. This, this battery life will last anywhere between five and seven days. To charge it, um, you can either plug it directly into your USB or like most of us who have iPads or iPhones or anything, we got those dongles that you plug into the wall and plug the USB in. But you'll slip the Fitbit in, charge it for two to four hours, five to seven days of battery life. Then we have the wireless dongle. So what this does you plug this into your USB port on your either your compatible USB machine, PC, Mac, doesn't matter. It can be a desktop, laptop, it just doesn't matter as long as you have USB. And then what happens is when the Fitbit gets within 20 or 30 feet of this, it'll automatically start offloading all of the data from the Fitbit onto this into the Fitbit software and then uploading it onto the website so that you can get all of your information. I'll put that down and let's get the actual Fitbit out. They've made this really small. It's very lightweight. It's actually a really cool device. Um, I'm not a big fan of wearing things on my wrist all the time. Uh, not to mention, you know, I just don't, I don't wear a watch a lot. Um, so I went ahead and, and chose to get the wearable kind. So it comes in this little case. We'll pop it out of here. This is just for, for shipping. And this is it. It's tiny. It's very, very small. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it kind of reminds me of a uh, Bluetooth earpiece um, in the size. So you can see it's about the size of my pinky, actually, or roughly the size of my pinky. Um, back is brushed. It's got a little clip here. Here's your charge connector. And again, this charges just by popping it in, plugging it in, you'll get a charge. We got a little button is the only thing that the Fitbit has besides its labeling is a single button to turn it on and to cycle through. So if we hit the button and turn it on, there we go, Fitbit 6.6. .6. So it's got the 6.6 .6 firmware. Right now it's telling me that I've already taken 26 steps, which I'm not sure how that's possible. Um, hit the button again and it'll tell me how many floors, how many flights of stairs I've gone up. Hit it again, how many total miles I've walked in a day. Hit it again, how many calories I have burned. And I don't know how that's even possible, but it's registering that. Then hit the button and we have a flower growth. So this flower actually grows as you're active throughout the day. Obviously the goal is to get that flower to grow all the way to the top of the Fitbit being as active as possible. So there you have it. That is the device. I am going to get it set up. I'm going to spend a week with it, get lots of data on the Fitbit website, as well as um, using it in conjunction with the uh, MyFitnessPal app. And then I'm gonna do a review on how this all comes together to give you a cohesive, integrated look at what's going on in your life um, when it comes to fitness. You can track, you know, both the Fitbit app as well as the MyFitnessPal app allow you to track the foods that you're eating and they have these amazing databases. You go to a restaurant, you type in the restaurant and the food that you're eating and bam, it's got all of the caloric information and nutritional information so that you can keep track. You can tell the Fitbit that you wanna lose 15 pounds. You can tell it you wanna lose 15 pounds in two months, four months, eight months, and it'll tell you how many calories that you should be eating throughout the day. And the software will track all of that for you and help you get to those goals and reach those goals. And it makes it fun. Techie like me, of course, you know, I have no problems logging the food that I eat with my mobile phone or, or on, the, on the computer at the end of the day. So there you have it. Fitbit One sells for about $99. As always, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash geekwithglasses. Hit us up on Twitter, twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you're using a Fitbit or any other pedometer-based activity monitor, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. There's the Fitbit Flex, the Fitbit Focus, the Fitbit, um, there's another one, I can't remember the name of it. You got the Nike Fuel Band. You've got all of these other uh, devices. Please let me know what you think of all of the devices. Put that in the comments below. Um, and uh, let's start a conversation and stay tuned. About a week from now, um, I will go ahead and publish a video of the software, how it all is used, and how you can use this in a quick and easy, effective way to, to lose weight and uh, just feel better. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.